Hello everyone, I'm Gummy, and since the mega sale of Trudeau is finally done, I think it's time for a little rundown. Let's have a look, shall we? So, in order of purchase, the one you have already seen, the Iwi Jericho 2. I bought it for about $900 the day after the announcement that uh, the third wanted to ban all of pistols. Uh, it's not a bad pistol, which I have to keep now anyway. However, well, it has not come out of its box since I went to the range to shoot a video of it. Because, well, quite frankly, it is... Uh, well, I'm still not comfortable with this kind of design. So, it is going to be in my collection, but, uh, well, the magazines are not even loaded, which I usually do. Next up, one gun I don't have the box for, but it is still a bit of a collectible. An FN 5.7 with what looks like tan on the picture on the camera, but is really OD. I just put a TLR1 on it, and this thing I bought for a thousand Canadian dollars instead of two thousand. Bought it because it's a collectible, and funny story is somebody was interested it, interested in it at the shop. It was a consignment. Somebody probably panic selling it, considering the price. The guy said, oh, he needed a little bit of time to consider. So they walked away and, uh, well, I did not need any time to consider. A collectible pistol, normally $2,000 for $1,000, you jump on it. I shot it a little bit because, well, 5.7 is super expensive. And uh, another funny story, at the Calgary Shooting Center, they apparently had at some point uh, 43 boxes, I believe. And just when I was about to go to the cashier and pay for mine, somebody bought everything online. All 43 boxes. Don't ask me how it's possible, but that happened. Personally, I really, really like this pistol. However, it has one of the things I hate most. A magazine cutoff. You cannot actually, you cannot discharge or just drop the hammer without a magazine, which I was told it was, it was coming only with one magazine, and using it for the steer challenge, I wanted five. So I bought four more, which means I have seven 5.7 seven pistols. Uh, seven 5.7, seven, yeah. Seven 5.7 seven magazines. Try to say that fast. I like this pistol a lot, but uh, expensive ammo. Next up, I actually do have the box, Wolfer, specifically inside it, a PDP Gen 2. I bought this pistol again at the shooting edge, just like the 5.7. It's, uh, well, you would, ex you would expect it to be considerably, considerably more heavy than it is, considering how, uh, well, how chunky the slide is, but there is almost no weight inside of the grip, which is Kind of a kind of a surprise to me because it jumps quite a bit more than my uh, than my P10F, for example. I still love it. The grip contour is kind of similar as to what you have on the HK45, which, for uh, if you don't remember, is my absolute favorite pistol. I still love this little bugger quite a bit. I don't know if you can hear it, but the trigger is. Quite springy, however. Anyway, another pistol I will have to do another uh, another video on, but another nice one for my uh, for my German Deutsch pistols. And finally, the one that I just received last week. Alpha Fox dropped, and inside you find a really nice 1911 5 inch. This one is just like the marking on the chamber shows. This one is a 9x19. I bought this pistol mostly because I wanted to use it for the steer challenge, and after just trying it out at the uh, at the shooting edge, I think this pistol is going to see a lot more action than the steel challenge. 
I initially wanted to shoot it as production because it is a 9mm that's literally 50% uh, heavier than my HK45. It climbs very little. It has an absolutely awesome trigger like a lot of 1911s. And uh, well, there's really not much to say about it right now. I'm going to drop it at Black Box Custom because I want it modified a little bit. For example, I want an optics cut, I want suppressor height sights. Uh, sadly, it doesn't have a threaded barrel, which is my preference. Funny enough, this was the last 5 inch regular barrel that the Calgary Shooting Center had, on, had in stock. And turns out that um, the next week, or the, ne in the, um, the next two weeks, they received another shipment that had the threaded barrel. Eh, I mean, it's a 1911. Hopefully I will still be able to get parts and uh, a barrel for it. Really nice little pistol, lots of heft and uh, fits my hand very nicely. I like this one. And it comes with a nice little bag. So what happens now? Well, Bill C21 is technically still being debated in commission. At the time where I'm recording this, I have seen a video of the CCFR uh, making a press, a press blah, making a press announcement. Sorry, and uh, well, it's a kind of a shit show for the labels. Every single police department is saying that uh, no, it would have absolutely no effect whatsoever on crime or on safety, for that matter. And uh, there is speci there is one uh, provision inside the law to allow quote unquote elite sport shooter to still buy and sell handguns. If you were wondering what elite sport shooter even means, well, uh, apparently it is Olympians, which don't shoot any of the pistols that I am shooting, and I believe the Calgary Shooting Center only ever had one in the display case, and that's it. I've never seen any more of them. Uh, and of course, the Ipse guy apparently stabbed the community in the back by saying that they are completely okay with the handgun ban as long as they are exempt. This kind of fucker needs to be tarred and feathered. Regarding the short rifles, like for example my uh, GHM9 that I use in the Steel Challenge, that stuff is still completely fine. We can still buy them, we can still sell them. Uh, if you want to buy, say, uh, I don't know, a Micro X95 or you want to buy one of the restricted uh, brand tools, for example, it is still possible. Some people have told me that uh, they are receiving them way faster than three months, but for me, I'm not going to try it before things have essentially calmed down. I'm hoping that the Conservative will announce or commit to removing this, uh, this extra law. Uh, Pierre Poilievre has already said that he wants to rewrite the Firearms Act, which, for the map, personally, I'm completely for. However, uh, I also consider that the Conservative Party is chock full of Conservative in name only. You know, the Canadian rhinos. So I'm not going to hold my breath and for now I'm just going to sit on my stockpile of, of handguns essentially. I have 45, 5.7, I have 9mm, that's pretty much the three calibers that I'm shooting all the time. And I'm still going to make eh, a few modifications to them. I'm well, I'm not exactly sure, but you'll see that on video as well. So yeah, that's my uh, little rundown of uh, 40, over $4,500 spent in, uh, in four months. And if you want to see them later on in my videos or what I'm going to do to the 1911 that I'm going to drop at Black Box Custom in a couple days, I think, hopefully, you can subscribe to the channel, you can hit the notification bell, I have all of my links in the, in the description down below, and I'll see you later. Salut, bonsoir.